How's it going guys, Sharblox here. Welcome back to another episode of Roblox News. In today's episode, we've got some Roblox drama, some Roblox website updates, loads of random stuff as well. Yeah, let's just get straight into it. Okay, so the first one is a Roblox website update and this one is from Bloxy News. These guys said, when you receive a friend request, Roblox will now tell you if you have any mutual friends in common with that person. Oh, okay, right, so I see. So it's over on the Roblox friends tab. Yeah, I guess we can check this out quickly. So if you guys are over on your profile just go to your friends so that would be up here because i have the better roblox plugin and as you can see on friend requests i have one mutual friend with one of my old accounts so yeah i just set that up so i could show you guys in the video and that's pretty much all it does i guess it's kind of useful maybe it might save you from getting scammed or something you can tell if someone is reliable if you've got mutual friends if you've got friends in common that sort of thing yeah this update is pretty good i think this update already existed on Pro and rogold but apart from that at least Roblox put it on the main website. All right, next we have another website update. Again, this one is from Bloxy News. A new parental controls section has been added to the Roblox settings page, along with two new settings to help parents control their child's spending. Available for accounts under 13, account pin has also been renamed to parent pin. I wonder why they did that, because account pin is very useful if you ever get hacked. Yeah, I guess we can check this out quickly. First of all, let's just see what it looks like if you're under 13 so it says account restrictions monthly spend restrictions wow that's kind of interesting so you can limit how much robux your child spends or like money or something that's kind of mad actually oh i just realized i don't think it's robux i think it's actual money spend notifications as well oh so if you spend a lot of money and your parents have this enabled on your accounts then they get an email about it fair enough that's kind of mad though obviously my account is not under 13 but if i go on to parental control now if I want to enable my pin I have to do it here which is kind of mad and what else have we got we've got account restrictions so if I enable this everything on the privacy tab will be disabled so like who can message me no one no one no one yeah you guys get the idea fairly recently there was also a Roblox feature which got removed a very pointless feature to be honest this one was from RBX news they said Roblox has removed the option to share on your feed uh, to be honest did anyone care I guess it was kind of useful for groups and status is but then again statuses got removed like ages ago unless you have a plugin where you can like re-enable it what happens if i go onto my feed then ah oh, i see so it's still here you just can't post anything new oh my gosh look at my messages from 2016 r.i.p builders club another terrible halloween event yay this channel didn't even exist in 2016 that's kind of funny also if you guys were wondering if you do a brand new group shout yeah it won't go into people's feeds anymore next we have some more website updates this one is also from RBX News. Roblox has replaced the don't get locked out prompt with finish account setup before logout. Right, so I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same thing. And you get this message if you make a brand new Roblox account. And let's say you go to log out of that account. If you didn't already add an email address and verify it, then you'll get this message basically letting you know to enter your email address just in case you forget your password. So yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. They just gave it a new theme. And next, we had this tweet from from one of the Spanish Roblox News Twitter accounts, and they said the support page on Android is having problems. Wow, what is going on on Android? So if you go to the Roblox support, it just glitches out and crashes and goes all crazy. That's kind of funny to be honest, but hopefully Roblox can fix this fairly soon. Okay, so in other news, many of you guys have been asking me to cover this drama. This one is from Bloxy News, and they said breaking Roblox sues YouTuber Ruben Sim for temporarily shutting down the 2021 Roblox Developers Conference with a fake terrorist threat via The Verge, which is actually like a news account. So yeah, many of you guys have been asking me to make a video on this. You want my opinion? The reason why I didn't make a separate video is because literally everyone on YouTube is talking about this. Even people which aren't even Roblox YouTubers, like some ordinary gamers, he also made a video. So yeah, that's pretty much the reason why I didn't cover it. I thought it was overdone. Like I said, literally everyone was talking about this. But yeah, honestly, it's 
it's kind of mad. Is he going to get sued for 1.6 million? I mean, possibly. I think they did say he might definitely get sued for like 150k. And so they want him to delete his YouTube channel and all of his Roblox videos. Basically, Roblox really don't like him. That whole like threat thing on the Roblox developer conference, I think that was one of his fans. I don't think that was Ruben himself, but honestly, I'm not too sure. Roblox definitely know more than we do about this. Roblox are clearly investigating everything that happened. RTC updated us and said Ruben Sim is currently trending over the lawsuit with Roblox. Game and social platform Roblox sues content creator Ruben Sim over harassment and oof content and allegedly amassing a mob that temporarily shut down its October developer conference. <laughs> this, guy, this YouTuber's gone crazy. Why is he doing all of this mad stuff? To be fair, I have seen quite a few of his videos and some of them are really funny. But yeah, I guess a lot of the stuff he was doing behind the scenes like off platform were not exactly in line with Roblox's rules. Apparently he was uploading some inappropriate stuff as well. I don't hate the guy, but yeah, clearly Roblox themselves hate him. Jesus Christ. Yeah, look at this. 1.65 million in damages. How is he going to afford that? No Roblox YouTuber with like 700k subs could afford that. He uploaded bad images onto Roblox as well. He harassed people, said really offensive stuff, impersonated Roblox employees, other behavior as well. Oh yeah, he was also trying to avoid IP bans. A quick word of warning, if you guys ever get banned on Roblox and it says account deleted, this account has been closed due to violating our terms of service. You are not welcome on Roblox. If your ban message says you're not welcome anymore, yeah, probably switch to a different game. That means you're IP banned. And if you come back onto Roblox, I guess they're allowed to sue you. So this is probably what Ruben Sim's ban message looked like. They told him he wasn't welcome, but he kept on coming back. That's probably why Roblox is suing him, to be honest. But yeah, if you guys are really curious about what's going to happen to Ruben Sim, he basically has to abide by these rules. So this is called the prayer for relief. He can't publish any fake threats. He can't make any false statements about Roblox. He can't encourage violence against anyone that works at Roblox or its employees. He can't use the Roblox platform. He can't violate the Roblox terms of service. It says here he can't even approach any Roblox office within 100 feet or any other Roblox facility or residence or employee. And he also can't harass Roblox users, employees, attorneys, agents. Actual damages, it was 150 grand. Yeah, he might end up paying that. Bloody hell. I would not want to be in this situation. The last message I'm going to show you about this is from Ruben himself. And to be fair, this was a pretty smart tweet from him. He said, gonna make the very smart decision not to comment on the complaint Roblox lodged against me because I want to make my lawyers and the court's job as easy as possible. When all of this is said and done, you can have my side of the story. I'll still be uploading vids as usual. Fair enough. Fair play to the guy. He clearly knows what he's doing, but I don't know guys. This situation is just insane. We've never really seen anything like this happen before, especially not to a Roblox YouTuber. Normally it happens to those Roblox scam sites and black markets, but yeah, this one is just mad. All right, let's move on to some more happy and positive news. This one is from Unite. He said, Ro Holiday 2021 coming soon. So I was wondering like, what is this? Well, Unite said, every year we create a museum to showcase what defined Roblox in 2021. I'm currently looking for popular slash memorable assets, including art, to showcase. And if you've created something which you feel applies, DM me. So I'm guessing this is kind of like the Roblox version of YouTube Rewind, but like Roblox games and models and art and stuff. Yeah, fair enough. That sounds pretty cool. Quick one from Bloxy News. What's this? Roblox has created a brand new dedicated careers website showcasing open job positions. Oh, fair enough. So there you go. If you guys would love to work at Roblox and you're over the age of 18, maybe you can apply for a job. You probably need like a university degree or something. So yeah, that's me out of the picture. I'm definitely never getting a job at Roblox. Oh, well, I don't want to anyway. Whoa, what is this? This looks insane. One from the official Roblox account, atmospheric lighting that tells a story, high definition textures, and it's all shot in experience. Looking forward to it. What? Look at this video. Look how detailed that looks. No way that was made on Roblox. Okay, I can kind of see that that part was made on Roblox of like this mesh and texture, but the rest of it, like, oh my gosh, that looks mental. Damn, some really cool stuff coming to Roblox fairly soon. And to finish off the video, oh my god, some more Roblox NFTs. These are so cool. Make sure to buy them ASAP. Nah, just kidding. Oh, well, it looks like it's a video, so let's go and play it. Drama, a new NFT collection has come to Roblox Twitter and some are very mad. Many believe that NFTs are bad for the environment because of the energy that they use to process. Wait, these actually look pretty sick. As pixel art, like they actually look quite nice. But the fact they're NFTs and kind of stolen from Roblox. Yeah, I doubt anyone's going to buy these. They should like recreate 
create people's Roblox avatars as pixel art and like charge them Robux. They'd probably make more money doing that. And yeah, there we go. I think that's everything I wanted to cover in this episode of Roblox Accessory News. So if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.